Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, doing an unboxing of Banish All Their Fears, the Bayonet and Musket series, Volume 1. It's a new series from David Fox and Ben Hall and GMT Games. This is going to include the battles of Nierwinden, uh, War of the League of Augsburg, and Blenheim from 1704, War of the Spanish Succession. Start with some nice artwork there, I believe. Not sure if that's historical artwork or new artwork. It's kind of cool. And this is for two players. Solitaire suitability is rated as a seven. Uh, it's three to seven hours playtime. So have a table ready and ready to go. Uh, complexity is a level six. So let's crack it open. Take a look at what you get inside. So it's the second game from GMT in the past year that starts with Banish. Okay, interesting. All right, so we start out on top. GMT's bag of bags. There's actually a lot of bags in here in this one. It's pretty wild. We have two dice right on the top, and they're both gray. So I guess you're just gonna roll dice and figure things out. In other words, they've had colors for each side. So. Gray wins two to one. I kind of knew Gray was going to win. I called it. All right, so we start out with the rules of play for the Bayonet and Musket Battle Series. This is on GMT's Great Matte Finish Stock. It is 24 pages for the rules. Seems to be a lot of examples of play, which is nice. Gives you a lot of space and we have the uh, have some charts, so it's not really counter dense. I mean, excuse me, not rules dense, right? So it's pretty cool. This is the British, Dutch, German, and Imperial allies, Danish and Spanish against the French and the French allies. So is there an index here? Let's see. Yeah. So the rules. It's pretty much all rules. There's not a section of optional rules. So we go from sequence of play, command display, movement facing, stacking, artillery combat, so on and so forth. So got the rule book. Then we have our playbook. And this is huge and deep. It's 64 pages. And in this case, let's see, the playbook's gonna describe the scenarios in this case, I think. Yeah, Nierwinden, the historical narrative, the start and victory conditions set up, scenario special rules, breaching fortifications, Brandenburg. So that one takes up about 22 pages. The second battle, Blenheim, takes up about 22 pages. And then the rest is historical notes, designer's notes, and a detailed example of play, as, long as, as well as counter manifest in the Nierwinden map, the Blenheim map, and sequence of play on the back. So again, good, good stock. And then there's your order of battle for the different, I mean, as you go through, it's gonna tell you how to set up and play, so. that. And then this is, what do we got here? This is the Nierwinden, looks like a battle board. The Allied Army, French Army. This is on the coded GMT card stock. It looks like you'll position the forces on here. You got front, support, and reserve lines. And this other side is the Blenheim 1704 battle board. Then we have two copies of the infantry and artillery combat tables. One of the cavalry, cavalry combat tables. And then we've got two copies of the command and movement tables. Obviously one for each player. This is a two player game. There is no solo system for this. You would have to true solo playing both sides as most war gamers are apt to do anyway. Then we have a turn track here. These you got your hours, minutes, phases. This is single sided because obviously it's gonna set on the side of the map. And then we've got sheets of counters. These are thick, thick counters. Looks like there's five of them. I can count six of them. So there's counter one. He's got markers and units. 
dress ranks, fire, breach, casualty markers. Um, these are not pre-rounded, so you will need an Oregon Laminations 2.5 millimeter deluxe corner rounder, the proper tool for the job. So that's counter sheet one, counter sheet two. Now we're getting into some units. We've got the uh, Nierwinden French, the Blenheim French. So when you punch them, you can actually keep them separate. Um, there's Nierwinden French. So you can keep them sorted and organized separately because each one's gonna have its own group. There's the Blenheim Allies and some more firefight committed markers. And then sheet three. And these are probably, I'm going to say these are universal between both battles, perhaps, because they're not marked as to which ones they should be with. Sheet four. Sheet five. Like I like I'm in the in the ranks and files and different formations. It's kind of cool on the counters themselves. We got leaders, various types, and of course mixed in as some markers and things as well. There's our six sheets of counters, and then we've got our map pages. So we'll take a look at that map. All right, so here are those maps. This is the Nierwinden 1693 map. As you can see, we've got lots of towns, lots of roads we're marching on. The terrain key is nice. The terrain key is right on the, right on the map there. And... Nice artwork, simple. Period font. So it looks like a kind of a nice map. And you'll move your counters on here. And then on the other side, of course, we have the Blenheim, Blenheim 1704 map. We've got a river, the Danube, obviously right here on the side. And then again, our towns, we've got a lot of forests here. So it's gonna make, obviously, the game a little more strategic. And there's, and there's Blenheim itself. All right, so let's put this away and do a quick recap of everything you get in the box. All right, so if you pick up a copy of Banish All Their Fears, you're going to get that map sheet that we just took a look at. Six sheets of counters, very thick, very uh, very large as well, about seven eighths inch, I think, or three fourths inch, excuse me. You get the turn, hour, minutes, phase tracker sheet, two copies of the command and movement table cards for each, one for each player. Two copies of the infantry and artillery combat tables, as well as the cavalry table. The double-sided, double-whip battle board, one for each, you know, one side for each, each uh, scenario. The large, thick 64-page playbook with the scenario descriptions and designer's notes. And then the relatively short 24-page rules of play booklet. Two dice and bag of bags and that is everything in banish all their fears bayonet and musket series volume one from david fox ben hall and gmt games thank you so much for watching god bless you bye bye